They remove your stuff. But it all has to do with bandwidth. Okay, this is old cam. This is not a spring check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and actually, you're gonna you love this is because see I'm in this really big lush bathroom but he's in short sleeve shirts. Well, there's a reason because I I have. Uh, I was born, and my temperature is basically considered higher than hers. I mean, I'm like, when I go through, I, I wear black shirts, and I'll go through a black shirt a week because I sweat too much. But that, so I, I'm over 100 degrees all the time. So it's just like freezing in this room, folks. And we had to turn the heat off because it makes a noise. But today we're going to, to grump about the fact that the viral video, <laughs> viral videos on the way out in social media doesn't work. And see, part of it is we do work in both of those arenas. And you're going, why would you sit there and complain about those? I will tell you, it's like anybody that's worked on some of these viral video sites is we've been around long enough to have tried most of them. Yeah. Yeah. We, we've been around long enough to have thousands and thousands and thousands of videos uh, taken down. Yeah. And long enough that our name no longer resembles the original name. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, Monty Bubbles was removed from so many things so long ago but then they, they, they you know so we just you know monty bubbles is still the basic name but um I mean, just recently one night alone we lost 140 videos this week you know because of of um part of a hundred and some went because of digital rights management they were all interviews folks all interviews but they had music in the background which we keep telling people you do not put music in the background of events you want people to be interviewed at because if you put them up on on a on a viral video site, they will get taken down. Get taken it down. does not matter if it's just when they will come down. Well, the biggest yeah, that's the biggest challenge because when you're sitting there doing even the microphones, a lot of times what we've managed to do is you use a microphone and then you put some sound over it. But we've had challenges because even when we put our own music in there, they're flagging us with digital rights music. Manager. Yeah, I mean, it, it just, I, I write the music we use, folks. I mean, she saw me the other day we compose a piece of music right on the spot for something we did, and before she got it up, it had a complaint filed against it. Mm -hmm. Before it even made it, you know, seven seconds into the thing, somebody's programming said that music belonged to them, and it's all about the, uh, the, the people over at the viral video sites basically don't want to fight the battle, so they just notify you. They, but as companies now have software that anything, you know, you, first of all, under the law, you're entitled to, ooh, 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 you know, it's basically you can get away with so many, uh, so much of it, but they're not even waiting. Seven seconds is all it took so to get in. So why are they doing this? So yeah. it has to do with bandwidth. It has to do with bandwidth. Always with bandwidth. They're, you know, so. Um, it just like we just ran into a situation on Facebook where two of our main sites on Facebook have just been cut completely in half. You no longer can find them on the internet mm -hmm. because uh, their 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 business sites are, and our fan site. And what's happening is is that Facebook, like uh, my Facebook, is discovering what MySpace discovered. It's it got awful expensive to work, mm -hmm. and they're not they're they're. They really haven't figured out any way to make a profit yet. As viral video can never make a profit, Facebook can never make a profit. Twitter, Twitter is different. Twitter has basically stuck itself into a tiny little niche, in which they are, you can't go over the thing. You can't. The bandwidth is always the same, and um, they can get enough advertising on what on their little pages to cover the cost of the bandwidth. So if they have a so they have a hundred million subscribers on Twitter. It doesn't cost as much as 100 million subscribers on Facebook who are allowed to put pictures and video and all this stuff. Right. On. So, but um, but like Facebook basically, uh, Facebook is reacting the same way that the viral sites is. That if anybody files a complaint, they just they're they're not actually okay. The, on on for YouTube, for instance, if YouTube gets a complaint filed against you, they're more than likely going to yank all your videos, but they allow you to re-up on your site with your same name again. Mm -hmm. You just lose all the videos that you had put on it. Oh, and all the subscribers. All the subscribers. We've lost tens of thousands of subscribers. Mm -hmm. But um, Facebook, what looks like Facebook is doing is they're taking down the part that is visible on the internet so that no one can attack you anymore because if you can't find it, if it's not internet findable, the uh, the little gadgets that they have that allow people to search the file completely yeah you can't find it so the digital rights management doesn't come in and it makes it difficult for people 
that um, are not your friends to complain about something because they can't find it anymore. Mm -hmm. So, it, but we've been finding out gradually. For instance, we're doing a thing now called, um, you know, entertainment headline, you know, headlines today in 60 seconds. Try to find anybody on Facebook or Twitter that's in the industry that even bothers to look at the stuff because what happens, you send it here, by the time they look at it, it's there. They never know it's been sent to them because there are, most people have too many friends. I mean, I used to use face, I used to use Twitter to get information for news programming because, you know, you get something real fast, but the problem is by the time you get the Twitter thing up, it could be a hundred things down the line if you've got 10,000, if you've got, you know, four or 5,000 friends or something. It just zips well, that far. One of the things that I've learned is that if you wanted your friends to look at it, you tag them on it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's the only way you can get them to look at it, because otherwise it's just if they happen to be looking at it at that moment. Yeah, but if you're using it for a purpose, a business purpose, you can't tag everybody. Can't, no, you can't. You can't and the tag other well, you know people. what they do is they've been inviting people to parties. Yeah. And it's like invite them to the uh, like my page party. Yeah. <laughs> invite them to. But it, but theoretically, according to the terms of Facebook, that's a no no. No, but that's what they do. Uh, Facebook just updated its terms a week ago, and everything you do is basically a, a bad thing at Facebook. Same as Facebook bought Instagram and lost 25 percent of its. Uh, I'm surprised you didn't. So it lost 25 percent of its description base because of their new rules, mm -hmm. and they will probably lose all of the all of. I guess is Instagram will be a multi-billion dollar loss for Facebook. Well, because no one will come back. If they would have left it alone, it would have been fine. Yeah, but but. But, but what happened was, is they set a whole, they set a whole new set of parameters of which basically negates the reason behind using Instagram. The Instagram was meant to shoot all of these naughty pictures that you're shooting, you know. See, see, the biggest challenge with all of these things is the brands have determined that while they don't make money off of it, right, that it's. They still have to be involved. They still need to be involved, yeah. But there's a difference of involvement because, I mean, we set it up, we, we've set it forums. I mean, she sets it some, I set it others. And the general consensus of the whole thing is they don't work. They totally, they're not worth the expense. That's why everybody out there that is scaled back. I mean, we, I, I listened to one thing, one guy was saying, he said, we, we spent a million dollars to set up an app for one of the things and found out that no one used it as a system. A million dollars they spent on setting an app up for one of the social. Hey, guess who got paid? Yeah, <laughs> he, he, he said. Needless to say, the company will have no more. They will never have. They will never do business with our advertising firm ever again. Yep. Because they simply, but said the trick was. He said, we told them to begin with that social media does not work, and they insisted on it. And then when they found out we were telling them the truth, they got angry at us mm -hmm. and canceled their account. So. But um, it doesn't. You have you have people telling you how you can make social media work. Okay, we're going to put it very simple. Uh, so you have five thousand. What is the limit? Five thousand friends or something? You have five thousand friends. They put the little thing. Oh, you know, I just bought. You know, such and such and such and such has got a deal where you can get twenty five percent off if you use my name. Well, if you don't search your, you don't hang on your Twitter or your Facebook or social things you know, continually, that is gone. Mm -hmm. You don't ever see it. I mean, well, I'll post things up on my site, she never sees them. Mm -mm. Uh, and they'll be... Well, no, because I do have a lot of friends. And I, what I have to do is I go, have to go to your name. Yeah. Be, you know, because I've talked to people all the time. They're like, well, why don't you? I'm like, well, I'm like, I'm busy. Unless you ask me a question or post something, it's like, I don't even... You know, I'm busy. I don't think of basically. I don't think of you unless you think of me. I don't think of you unless you call me. <laughs> she basically, I don't have a whole. My the people on my Facebook side. I know the girl. <laughs> the people on my Facebook side are people just in the, in the same branch of the industry that I'm in, and they also likely don't have lots of Facebook friends because it's all about you know business things for the most part, and um, the, the Twitter thing. Uh, I got to the point on our Twitter accounts that we were having two or three thousand things, and like I said, I no longer they no longer served a purpose. So I mean, I don't do as much Twitter as I used to because 
uh, I go, I mean, I used to get, you know, like you'd hear something, like somebody had did this something horrible, uh, but with 3,000 friends, guess what happens? When you do it, and you could be a thousand things down before you can read it. it, it and I'm not going to go no, down. No, you just look up their name. So, it makes my team decide to say That's the only so. way, because otherwise you're never going to find it. Yeah, so it just, we're, we're dropping because it, you, have to, you have to do all of this stuff and you know that absolutely none of it's going to be use, useful to you. Mm -hmm. And I, I, it's a waste of time, it's a waste of money. This morning we just spent time setting up new accounts. Hours. Hours setting up new accounts because people had filed complaints. Mm -hmm. And there was nothing to the complaints they filed. What happened was they lied, we didn't know they were lying, and we simply went on the basis of what they said. So then to remove their lies, they basically filed a complaint with the social media people. Mm -hmm. And the social media people, not willing to take any chances. They just take it down. They just take it down. Now let's put it back up again. When they find out that what you did was, uh, you know, okay, they misrepresented what they did, We and they got caught. And instead of uh, accepting the, the consequences of what they did, they just simply went after everybody that t did what they said they did. You know, said, you know so uh, a lot of people get damaged because somebody tells a lie, and then in order to get that lie gone, they try to hide the fact by, well, these people did this, but the um, no, problem is it wouldn't work. Social media, that's why I said, social media, a, a person, one of the people on the panels I was at at the thing said that uh, there will be more litigation in the next few years on social media than there has ever been litigation involved with uh, music sharing. Mm -hmm. And that's something because he said there's, uh, it, the social media is right for litigation against it. Well, it really is, especially when somebody on social media says, well, let's just say they say, um, we can't stand for that X, Y, Z, we have to take them out. That's right. Okay? And they and, do it. And things like, yeah, people get in trouble for that. There's a lot of harm that comes from things like that. Uh, so, it, and, and, you know, if you push a like button, a like button can get you sued. I don't like that. Uh, because uh, it, it basically it can get you to say, well, I like the fact that they think that uh, that uh, teachers should be, uh, that there should be security on every school campus. Well, what happens is they put you on the, on the list that is opposite the views of a certain political party and then they go after you. Oh. Yeah. yeah. You know, you get your names on the list by they collect things off of off of social media sites of what your yeah remember all those buttons you push that says oh yes let everybody find my birth date yeah put add them to my birth date add them to my relative list add them yeah. to this add them to you that know, guess what happens apps if you put apps if you you know you push this thing for apps apps can get you in trouble they can get you fired from your jobs mm -hmm. they find out well you had an app well I I I, I I, I like the national. I like the NHR, you know, the National Republican Army, you know, Army which is the other deal. The, uh, you, you, like you like whatever. You like whatever, and they basically, uh, your employer can then fire you for finding that out. Oh, you mean the same way they go through your Facebook pages when you call in sick and then you post party pictures? Yeah, that's right. They use everything is used against you in social media. And, and, and it's not necessarily a picture you posted. It could be. You were there in the background, somebody else posted. But it doesn't even have and to. They tagged you. It doesn't even have to be you at the party. All they had to do was say, "Well, Joe Blow went to the he went to the orgy last night." Oh, actually, you know, some of the times it's like people they tag you on the pictures because they want you to see it, and you yeah, were never there. You were never there. Oh God, I'm getting, you know, I get I, I, on my Facebook thing. I'm getting things, you know, uh, they like your the picture of you. Well, well, I was not in the picture, and I never put it up, but that's what happens with Facebook. They can basically put things up. Uh, if you're a friend, they can put a picture up and say it's a picture of you. Uh-uh. I mean, I've never been to, I've, the only time I ever went to Australia was when I was in the military. <laughs> so, I've not been to that, but yet I'm, I'm listed as being, I'm tagged as being at the, all these events there now. Well, actually, the other thing that I was cautioned about is they tell you that's on Twitter, okay? Is especially for security, because people say, "Oh, I'm here," right? Yep. So, you know, and there's a lot of cool places that you are, but see, you know, those posts like, "Oh, I'm going on vacation for two weeks to Hawaii," yeah. right? 
guess who may be monitoring something yeah. like that. They flat out tell you, and if you're a female, never tell anybody you're going out for the evening and tell them where you're at. That, that's a big mistake. But um, they said that well, one of the big problems at Foursquare that tells everybody what you're doing now. Well, yeah, but you sign in to Foursquare. I know, but that's still they still sign in, and it's just called they call it a, a, a mistake because it, it, if you tell people where you're at, and you tell people you're going to be there by yourself, you're telling people that might have something against you exactly where you're going to be and where you're at. Not Which smart. means also like on Facebook when you they invite you to the different things. Yeah. Of course, I could just put yes to all of them. Is they were concerned because I put somebody to ask me, oh, I just put yes, I'm going to that, right? Yeah. And so all of a sudden. They're getting notices saying, oh, in five more minutes, Joyce is going to be at such and such. Right. So that's why I don't push, the, I no longer push the things on Facebook saying where, that I'm, I, I'm going to go to an event. So you, what you do is you go around it to wherever the thing. Here's how it is. You almost always go around anything you see on Facebook. If you know somebody's holding an event you want to go to, go to the web page mm -hmm. of, the, of the event and go in from there and then make certain it's not on because, I mean, they absolutely had put out, you know, Joyce, I mean, I know, like, uh, uh, the old one, and 17,000 other people will be at this baseball game at 8 o'clock tonight. You know, there's no one at his place because, you know, he's single. So, you know, basically, and here is his phone number to call and see if he's there. Yeah. So that's where you really have to be careful to manage the information that's shareable and that people see. Um, whether it's telephone numbers, email addresses, and all of that. Yeah, but the, it's just Facebook. Um, Facebook is is it, Facebook is already in its death throes, as is uh, MySpace is trying to be reborn, and they basically nobody knows it exists. But Facebook, uh, the litigation is just the litig the doors to litigation open with Instagram. They all, actually they first opened with the with the IPO, which was a disaster. Then they made another disaster with Instagram, and this is just—it has nothing to do uh, with them being bad business people. It has to do in order to survive, they have to keep changing the way they do business, and the way they do business is not what created them in the first place. The creation was uh, for people to be able to use this to do that. Now you can no longer use this to do that because of all the legal ramifications that goes with it. So everything eventually crushes under its own weight. If they left everything alone, left it exactly as it was, and just didn't give a tinker a damn about, you know, you, okay, Google always wins, this, Google wins every battle in court that they fight because they don't break any laws. If you don't break a law, it's nuisance sales. I mean, I used to, um, I used to do things, when, actually, I grew up with Walt, my parents been around the Disney family forever, but Walt Disney's people Will, Walt Disney's company will sue somebody to head off litigation. They just they have nothing but lawyers that go to court just to, uh, to make certain that they don't get sued. And that's basically what Google does. It's, you know, if Instagram did the same thing, and Twitter did the same thing, and MySpace did the same thing, and Facebook did the same thing, your material would still be sitting on the internet. But they don't. They just let, what they do now is that, well, they yank it and then say, oops, after it's been done. So in that situation, social media is no longer an effective means of advertising. It's, it's a waste of time and money and an effort. I've never seen anybody have a successful campaign. We, we actually were back at the, end, at the very beginning of social media. And well, we spent $14 million on this ad campaign on social media. And we found out that people were thinking about going into this the business chain uh, sometime in the next six months. Mm -hmm. You could have spent a lot of money and just, you know, sent a card out to them. If you're coming in, you know, if you're going to come in the next oh. six months, sit, you know, here's a Coke form for you to get a discount. The, the typical, I mean, here's, if you want to call it the contract, is that you still need to be there. You don't have to spend tons of money. Right. But if you're not there, it, it, you, people kind of it, it, you, it, you have to have a presence. We have to have a presence, even though I don't like it. We have to have a presence. I have to. I have a Facebook page. I really, you know, I have a lot of people. I'm in the entertainment industry, same as she is. I have a lot of loonies in my thing, 
You know, they tell me, well, you don't know what it's like when you criticize all of this. You don't know what it's like. And I said, well, yeah, let's see. My wife and son were burnt to death in an automobile accident by a guy that had been drinking and taking marijuana. I think I know what it's like. Well, you don't understand what it's like to be shot. I have, I have bullet holes from Vietnam from here all the way up to my head, folks. I know what it's like to be shot. Well, you don't like, well, yeah, I, like, I know about that, too. So I get, those are the people I unfriend real quickly. Well, you don't know what it's like. So what it is, you don't tell somebody they don't know what it's like, because most people, when you know, do really understand what it's like. But um, it, it doesn't work. We get we're stuck with it, and somebody will come up with something next year that will replace the Facebook is the flavor of the month. Twitter will exist for uh, Twitter. Basically, is a non-intrusive mess. It's the only 140 characters. You really can't get into a lot of trouble in 140 characters. And if you say certain keywords, they just don't put it up anyway. Mm -hmm. It's all about keywords on Twitter. If you basically say something that they know is racist, you don't make it. If they say something has to do with sex, it really doesn't go up because they do monitor this stuff. You put something yeah. on Facebook up. Uh, okay, help put it this way. On Facebook, you can type in, uh, they just shut down my page and all of a sudden, and before you get the shutdown, before you get to push the button on it, your page is back up. Mm -hmm. They monitor every single word that you're saying with computers, everything. If you say the magic words, they go down. If you say the magic words, it goes up. Mm -hmm. So, which means that you want to have people watching your, listening to your every It is Big movie. Brother. Yeah. It's so. Big, it's Big Brother, you know, through social media. It's just like, um, reminds me of the new car thing where they're saying, oh, well, you know, we need to tax people that drive too much. Yeah. So we're going to put these GPS things so we can tax you according to how much you drive. Well, guess what? Yes. That's a GPS, that's a tracking device that tells them everywhere you're going. That's right. And they're wanting to do social media on They've been trying this for TV for years, but now they're really getting serious where they have a television uh, where the TV will now be watching you in your living room or in your bedroom. I know, that's a little bit too much big brother for me. But there, the TV sets are being equipped now. It's always been, it's never been a difficult thing with the television set is to make it revert. This is a television transmitter as well as a receiver. They can flip a switch and see everything you're doing the opposite direction. People didn't realize it. It doesn't take, you don't have to be a rocket science to make the television set work the opposite direction. You don't get a good picture the opposite direction. But you still get a picture. But you still get a picture. Plus the fact they are now putting cameras on these things. Right in the little front, of, in the middle of the top of your oh, yeah. picture, so you there's a do camera. Web, 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 web cam. Videos, and web when cam. they do, when that's done, they can switch it on and see what's everything going on. So. You're going, how can they do that? Remember that case where the kid borrowed the laptop from school? They didn't realize that they could turn it on back the other direction. Mm -hmm. They can. It's just it will be available. And, uh, you know, so the, basically you have political parties and everybody fighting over the legality of all of it, but it's still being done. You can't stop it because once, you know, because we finish this, unfortunately, with the words of Edgar Wright, uh, it's Arthur Conan Doyle. Once you start forward, you can never go back. So things will always get worse. They will never get better. I guess until next time, this is okay. <laughs>